All right, this is going to be a similar video to another YouTube video that's out there about building the legal eagle tail. Now, this is an XL tail, but I don't know that it really makes much of a difference. But if it does, whatever. So, uh, we'll start off with doing the bends. This is a bend die that I made with the help of a local uh, wood person. Woodsmith? Whatever the word is. Anyway, it is a 5-inch radius to the center line of the tube. And this one, this particular one, is a uh, 5 8 tubing size. I have 5 8 half inch, and 3 8 Now this is the Tony Miguelis, uh, he covers this in one of his books, the, uh, the, there's a metal plate that goes over this, and that's what all these little holes are for, like quarter inch bolts to go through here to, to keep it from spreading out and splitting the wood. Uh, and the center axle, of course. So the metal would, would come around like this, and it would come up like this, and you'd have a block in here that would hold the tail of the bend. And then you'd bend around this curve with an arm and a roller that would roll with the tube. It's really complicated. There's a lot of parts, and seems unnecessary for what I'm doing here. So instead, I built this thing right here. This is a 10-inch, uh, or 5-inch radius, to the outside here, so the inside of the tube will have the radius on it instead of the, the center line of the tube like I've got marked on here. But that's okay, because it's a it's a legal eagle and who cares. Uh, I have a center line on here. I'll, for this one, I intend to line this center line up with the tangent of this bend here. And I will probably not get a whole lot of spring back. It's not that much of a bend, it's, you know, it's nothing compared to this down here. But I have all this drawn out, you know. Uh, this is my inner rib, spar, gussets, you know, everything else, out, you know, angled rib here. And I, I did a little bit of drawing and math, so the, um, the radius will be a little, or the, the bend will be a little off because this is for a center line of tube, as you can see how it intersects the uh, center line mark, but that's okay. Uh, I may offset it that way just a little bit just to make up for that so that the tube ends up on my line here. But as long as I bend them both the same, it won't really matter. If they're equal, who cares? Now, I have a piece of steel here to hold the tail of the bend. Uh, I used to run a Pines mandrel bender uh, for, I don't know, maybe a year. And I, it was a third shift job. It was terrible. But uh, they had clamps that would grab the short end of the bend. And then an arm, you know, similar to the Tony Bengelis thing, would, would draw it along a die, a round die. And this follow piece would follow it along and you'd have a nice bend. Now, obviously, I don't have a you know, $100,000 Pines bender, or even, you know, I've got a piece of wood, so I'm going to have to make do. But that, the metal is there because it's going to hold a lot of tension while I pull this around this curve here. If it were longer, you know, so over here to the Casey's Cup, I could put a piece of 2x4 on here and it would hold all that pressure. But I don't have the length because I have a short piece of aluminum here. It's only six foot I had to buy it from McMaster Car. So anyway, so I'll do that bend and I'll block it all in here. You know, all this will be held down. And then this piece, of course, will come down here, like this, and I'll do my bend around it. Now, if you watch the other video, and I'm going to reference his videos a lot because it, they're quite good, if not, you know, improv like I'm doing. He has a little spring back, so when he bends it around here, it ends up springing back. His radius grows, and his tube is, is off this way. And he shifts everything this way to make up for that. I'm going to move my bend, or my center of my bend, down this way. So that when I bend it, it will go, you know, into here, but when it springs back, it should line up nice with this line right here. And of course, there's my spar line. So when all this is done, hopefully, I will have a decent looking tail, and, a, and both pieces will be even. As long as both pieces are even, I really don't care if I don't follow the radius or anything like that, because, you know, every eagle is going to be different. Mine will be different. Mine will even be different than most eagles, because at this point right here there's gonna be a pivot and my the piece of welded to the fuselage will have holes in it so the, the tail will fold up just like the cold fire star does because I want to fold my wings now that may add too much weight to the thing and I intend to make these straight lengths long enough so that I can put a tube in if it doesn't work but I'm gonna try it it's worth a shot so anyway the next video I'll have all this set up and uh, hopefully I'll have a bend done and we can show what everything looks like. It's not hard, at least it doesn't seem hard. I haven't done this yet, but his uh, videos from Michael, I think is his name. He uh, he did a good job to explain it. So anyway, here we'll 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 come back later.